This demonstration is all about the cell reference in Microsoft Excel. When we talk about cell reference, it refers to a cell or a range of cells on a worksheet and can be used in a formula. So if we're talking about formula, for example, we have here a bonus and a salary. If we want to get the gross salary, we have the formula to add the bonus and the salary. So in the process of creating the formula, it is always include the so-called, or it always involve the so-called um, cell reference because in a formula, we have um, the cell reference. So for example, we want to get the bonus in the salary. So we have equals the bonus plus the salary. So this B6 and C6, which is the bonus and the salary, is the formula to get the gross salary. And this B6 and C6 are the so-called cell reference, meaning to say we are referring to the cells. Okay, so in Microsoft Excel, we have four types of cell reference. So number one, we have the so-called um, relative reference. So a relative reference actually is the default of Microsoft Excel. When we talk about the relative reference, it means that um, the formula, um, the formula is um, refers to the two neighbors on the left side. So we have read the formula in column D. So pag sinabi natin um, relative reference, okay, magre-refer lang yung formula dun sa dalawang cell na nasa left side niya. So in our example here, we have the column D. And we have here the C, column C, and the column D. So the left cell of the column D is the C and the D. So this one is the default of Microsoft Excel, and we call this one as relative reference. Okay? So we have here bonus and salary. So 10 plus 11,000, so we have 21,000. And if I'm going to copy the formula, so we have here 8 plus 12,000, we have 20,000. 6 plus 13, we have 19. 4 plus 14, we have 18,000. And 2 plus 15 is 17,000. So this is the so-called cell, um, the relative reference, which is the default of Microsoft Excel. But what if the scenario now is that we wanted to get the gross salary of the employee, but the salary is to be added by only one bonus. So meaning to say the bonus, for example, 10,000, is to be added to the salary. So 11,000, 12,000, 13,000, 14,000, and 15,000. So meaning to say this 8,000 C42 will not be included in the computation of the gross salary. So only the 10,000 to 11,000. So meaning to say this 10,000 will be added to 11,000. This 10,000 will be added to 12,000. This 10,000 will be added to 13,000. This 10,000 will be added to 14,000. And then 10,000 will be added to 15,000. So that will be in the gross salary. So I will not be including the 8,000, 6,000, 4,000, and 2,000. Then how are we going to do that? Why? In our formula a while ago, so we have here, the formula is that B6 plus C6. For the second one, we have um, B7 plus C7. So as you can see, in the relative referencing, it will refer to the two cells on the left side. But in our scenario now, I wanted to get the gross salary by adding the 10 to 11. So how are we going to do that one? Some may um, create a formula like this. So equals, we have the 10,000. Since the 10,000 is constant, so they will be including the 10,000. So we have a 10,000 plus okay the salary so as you can see this formula is a combination of a constant value when i say constant value hindi na siya magbabago it is constant okay um plus the c6 which is c6 is a relative so this kind of formula is a combination of a constant value plus a um, a relative reference so um let's see what happened if we are going to create this kind of formula so 10,000 plus c6 we have 21,000. So we have 10 plus 7, we have 21,000. So this is okay. So okay, if I'm going to copy the formula, okay, so we have 10,000 plus 12,000, so we have 22. So that is correct. 
10,000 plus 13,000, so we have also 23,000, and that is also correct. 10,000 plus 14,000, 24,000, that is also correct. And 10,000 plus 15,000, 25,000, so that is correct, okay? So this kind of formula is okay if, okay, there is a constant value, okay? But what if the scenario would, um, would, um, would um, like this, okay? So for example, the bonus 10,000. So this 10,000 will be um, changeable, okay? So for example, I will be changing the 10,000 into 9,000, okay? So change the uh, 10,000 to 9,000, okay? So as you can see, the gross salary is, okay, did not change, okay? So if, you're, if you wanted to change the gross salary, okay, uh, you have to, edit this one, 9,000. And then you will be copying uh, the formula, okay, below. Okay, what if I'm going to change again this one into 10,000? So back to 10,000, okay, 10,000. So again, I need to change the 10,000 here, okay? So it's not very convenient or it's not convenient for us to do so, okay? So what I am trying to do right now is that I need to create a formula in which, okay, whenever there is a change or there are changes happening on this cell, I want also that this gross salary in here, which is yung formula ay nakakonect doon, mag-change din siya. Ibig sabihin, mag update okay? So, ang gagawin natin ngayon, okay, i-apply natin yung pangalawa natin klase ng reference. Yun yung tinatawag natin absolute Okay, reference. Okay, so we talk, uh, we call that one as absolute reference. From the word itself, absolute. Okay, ibig sabihin ng absolute, ibig sabihin meron kang fix na tinitingnan. Okay, so para maintindihan natin yung gross, uh, yung absolute reference, kailangan mo na, maninaw mo na sa atin, okay, paano nagbibigay ng pangalan yung Microsoft Excel. Okay, so in a Microsoft Excel, we all know that, Okay, the name of the cell, okay, is coming from the column or starts from the column which is um, labeled by a letter and followed by a number. So, for example, this cell, the name of this cell is E6. Okay, so when we talk about absolute reference, kailangan maintindihan natin ano ang gusto natin i-fix. If we fix ba natin yung column lang? or if you fix natin yung row lang, okay? So, merong mga ways para magkaroon ng absolute reference, okay? Paano malalaman na uh, gumagamit tayo ng absolute reference dahil makikita natin sa formula natin na nagkakaroon siya ng dollar sign, okay? So, for example, gusto ko mag-focus lang sa column B. So, this is the column B. So, gusto ko, so because um, kaya ko siya sinasabi kasi ganito yon, okay? Okay, so ang ating formula dito, as you can see, the formula here is B6 plus C6. Ngayon, ang kanyang reference, itong dalawang column, uh, dalawang cell, B and C. Ngayon, ikakopya natin yung formula. So, I will be copying the formula in column F. So, as you can see here, okay, this is not the formula. Try to observe. Okay, kanina, ang, ang ni-refer dito is yung B and C. Kasi nasan ko kanina sa relative reference meron lang or kukuha lang okay, dun sa left side, dalawang cell na nasa left side ng um, column natin kung saan natin nilagay yung um, formula. So, dito naman, kung mapapansin mo, yung inad niya is yung dalawa, 21 and 21. D6 and E6. Kasi yun yung dalawa na nasa left side niya. Okay? So, ngayon, kaya ko in-explain to siya kasi dapat natin intindihin yung absolute, kung ano lang ipofocus natin. Kasi pag nilagyan natin siya ng um, absolute, ibig sabihin, hindi na lalabas doon sa area na yon. Okay? So, dalawang klase ng pag absolute Ano? Apat, um, one, two, three, four, apat na klase yon. Okay? So, sa paggawa ng absolute reference, ganito yon. First, gusto mo column lang. Okay? So, column. Gusto mo, column lang ang gusto mong i-absolute. So, for in our example here, so, we have here B6. So, B6. Yan lang ang uh, gusto kong nakafocus lang ako kay B. So, dapat, pag gusto mong i-focus lang only for the column B, so you have your um, B6. So, pag gusto mong i-focus at gawing absolute yung column, lalagyan lang natin siya ng dollar sign. So, ang ibig sabihin nito, okay, kung nandito tayo sa cell, ang focus mo lang is yung 
solong bilang. So, ibig sabihin, pag kinopya mo yung formula, kagaya ng ginawa natin dito kanina, hindi siya gagalaw. Ibig sabihin, B pa rin. Regardless kung saan area mo nilagay, dun pa pa rin nakafocus kay B. Okay? You get it? Okay? Naka-B pa rin siya. Okay? Ngayon, ang gusto mo naman is column naman. For example, this one, column, a row. Row ang gusto mong i-absolute. So, ang gagawin naman natin siya ans for the row. So, we have here, you're focusing the row. Okay? So, kung B, uh, B6 yan kanina, okay, B6, okay, so ilalagay natin yung dollar dun sa row. So, ang ibig sabihin nito, ang focus mo naman ngayon, B, dollar 6. Ang ibig sabihin niyan is, ang focus mo ngayon is nasa row. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, pag ikokopya ko yung formula dito sa baba, hindi siya aalis sa row 6. Na dapat magro-row 7 na, row 8, row 9, row 10, and so on, and so forth. Okay? So, yun yung po yung ibig sabihin. Pero, pwedeng gumalaw, galing sa B, pwedeng gumalaw ng C, D. Kasi kung mapapansin mo dito, ang B dito ay naka-relative. Only the row is absolute. Okay? Dito naman sa taas, sa column naman natin, ang column lang yung naka-absolute. But the 6 is relative. So, di sabihin, pag ipokopya mo yung formula sa baba, gagalaw siya at magmumug siya. So, hindi na to 6, 7 na, 8, 9, 10, and so on, and so forth. Okay? Paano naman pag both ang i-absolute natin? Column. Okay? We will be fixing the column and also the row. So, column and row. So, paano na magiging result yan? So, B6. So, lalagyan natin dito dollar sign and dollar sign. So, ang anong ibig sabihin nun? Nag-focus ka sa column B at nag-focus ka sa row 6. So, ang mangyayari nun, E isang cell lang ang pinofocus mo. Kasi, focus ka sa column B. Okay. So, ito yon, Ito, bula 1 hanggang pinakadulo ng Um, column na to. At nag-focus ka sa 6. So, ibig sabihin, nag-intersect sila dito. Itong lugar na to. Column B and row 6. So, ibig sabihin, ang focus mo lang ngayon itong cell lang na ito. Okay? So, yun yung ibig sabihin. Ibig sabihin, kanina, nag-focus tayo dun sa row. So, ito ang focus natin ngayon. Row. Okay? Column. Nag-focus tayo dito sa column na to. So, dito yan. Column. So, ang focus natin ngayon ay column, okay? Dollar B. Okay, ibig sabihin dito hanggang baba ngayon. And nag-focus din tayo sa row. So, row. Focus din tayo sa row from here, tapos dito. So, B. So, iisa lang ang focus ko B and row 6. So, ibig sabihin itong area na to, ito lang ang pinocus natin. Okay? So, yun po ang ibig sabihin nung pangatlo natin ginawa. Column, okay, and row. Dollar B and dollar C. So, in our scenario here, ang, 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 ang gagawin natin is kukunin ko yung gross salary, pero ang nangyayari nga, ipopocus lang natin dito. So, ang gagawin natin, so we have equal sign and this B6. So, lalagyan lang natin yan ng dollar sign. So, we have a dollar sign on the first for the column and another dollar sign for the row. Okay? So, dollar B, dollar C plus, okay, the salary. So, as you can see here, The salary is a relative reference. This one is an absolute reference, and this one is a relative reference. So in our formula, we have the so-called okay number three type of reference. We call that one as a mixed reference. Okay, so we call that one as mixed reference. It's a combination of an absolute and a relative reference. So here. Dollar B and dollar C, so that is an absolute and C6 is a relative. So if I'm going to copy this formula in any part or anywhere in the cell or in the worksheet, so magbabago on the D, C6. Okay, so observe. Okay, so we have your dollar B and dollar C6. So this is the dollar B and dollar C6. Okay, so if I'm going to copy the formula, okay, below. So as you can see, 22. So try to observe. Okay. From C6, we are now on C7. And take note, the dollar B and dollar C, okay, hindi tayo lumabas doon. Hindi natin binasa sa 8,000. Nakapokus lang tayo kay 10,000. So, um, dito din, as you can see, 10,000 and 13,000, okay? But the good thing about this one is, hindi kagaya dito kanina na binabago natin. For example, I want to change this one into 9,000. So, I will be changing this one into 9,000, okay? So, try to observe here, okay? 
enter. So, nagbago na siya dito. Sorry, 90,000. Okay? So, this is 9,000. So, 9,000 plus 11,000. So, we have 20. 9 plus 12. So, we have 21,000. And 9 plus 13. So, we have here 22,000. Okay? So, this is the so-called uh, mixed reference in a combination of absolute and um, the relative reference. And number four type of reference is the so-called external reference. Okay? From the word itself, external, meaning to say outside. Okay? Nasa labas, pwedeng nasa kabilang sheet. Okay? So, yun yung ibig sabihin ng external. So, for example, we have here another gross salary. Okay? So, I will be um, adding another gross salary gross salary here. Okay? So, I want to have, so for example, I have another worksheet or I have another sheet. Okay? So, we have here a bonus. Okay? So, a bonus. Okay? Then, I have here a, a, a 12,000 bonus. Okay? So, this bonus, 12,000, will be added to the gross or to the salary. Okay? In here. Okay? So, how are you going to create the formula for that one? So, we will be applying now the so-called um, external reference. So, how are we going to do that one? So, we have your equals, okay? The salary in here, so we have the relative reference for that because we will be copying the formula later on. So, um, we will um, stick to being a relative reference for this um, formula, uh, for this cell. Okay? Then plus, so we have your plus, okay? Then you go to Take, um, observe this one. Okay, pag pumunta tayo sa sheet number 2 plus, okay, as you can see, sa formula, nakalagay dito sheet 2. Okay, then exclamation point. Itong sheet 2, ito yung pangalan na worksheet mo dito. So, kung may pangalan ka dito na worksheet, yun yung lalabas dyan. Ibig sabihin, you are on the, uh, you are on, uh, you are in another worksheet. Okay, then I will be clicking this 12,000. Okay, so as you can see, sheet 2, exclamation point, B4. Okay? Then enter. Okay? So as you can see in our formula now, okay, in our formula we have C6 plus sheet 2 exclamation point B4. Meaning to say, um, the reference is on is, is on another sheet or is in another sheet which is sheet 2 and the cell is B4. So if I'm going to copy the formula, so the result is 12,000, 13,000, 14,000 and 15,000. Why is that so? Because in here, we have the bonus of 12,000. So, dapat, ang mangyayari dito, 12 plus 12, we have 24. But why is it not 12 lang ang nandito, 13 lang nandito, 14 lang ang nandito, at 15 lang nandito? So, try to observe the formula. So, for the formula, we have B5. Here, we have B4. Okay, we have here B5. Okay, we have here B6. So, um, take a look on this um, worksheet. Okay, on this sheet. So we have here the B4. B5 is 0. B6 is 0. So meaning to say, here, we have a 12,000 plus 0, 13,000 plus 0, 14,000 plus 0, and 15,000 plus 0. Okay? But if you want to just to focus on this 12,000, so you might as well, okay, apply the absolute reference for this B4. So I have your dollar, okay, and dollar B and dollar or meaning to say, I will be focusing on the on one cell, which is on the 12,000. So if I'm going to copy the formula, so we have your 24, 12 plus 12, 24, 12 plus 13, you have 25,000, and 12 per, plus 14, you have 26,000, and 12 plus 15, you have 27,000. And this is all about the cell reference. <laughs>